Robertson. I am a health educator with the Wallingford Health Department, and today I'm joined with our public health nurse, Anne. So today we are going to be talking about all things AED. So I understand that Anne has a few questions for me. We're just going to go over those so we have a better understanding of the AED usage and how we can make them use a difference in our community. So Nina, what is an AED? So an AED is an automated external defibrillator. So the purpose in an AED is to regulate one's heart rhythm when they've suffered a cardiac arrest. Do we have any in town? We actually do have AEDs in town. So we have them located in all of the town buildings. So we have one in the town hall. We have them in park and rec. We have them in each of the schools. We have three of them in each of the schools. So one in each of the cafeterias, one in a hallway, and then one next to each of the gymnasiums. What if I'm outside? We actually have them thanks to the In A Heartbeat Foundation. We were donated 12 AEDs. So those are all located in parks around town and they are accessible to anyone using the parks. Oh, wow. So do you have to have a license or a certification to use an AED? You actually don't. So the AEDs are designed to be user friendly. So essentially you would simply turn it on and follow the prompts. Although it's important to try and get training in as many emergencies as you can. Yeah, that makes sense. They're user friendly. Can you show us how to use one? Absolutely. So uh, I've brought with us here today, we have the actual AED that was located in the town hall. So this AED is for emergency purposes only. So you can see on here, we simply have an on off button. We have the checklist that has lights next to it that will go through each of the prompts. We have the shock button and then we have a speaker. So it's gonna be nice and loud as soon as you turn it on. And then we have pads in the back. And then located inside that casing, we also are going to have this kit right here that's going to have the gloves in it, it's going to have scissors in it, anything else that you may need to use during these kinds of emergencies. And then you're also going to have the child size pads for anyone under eight years old. All right, good to know. But today we're just going to be focusing on using the trainer AED. So this will not administer shock, it's used for educational purposes okay. only. Got it. Yep. So the first thing that you wanna do when you are faced with an emergency is obviously call 911. You wanna make sure that you have 911 on the phone with you throughout this entire process. And when it comes time to use the AED, you're simply gonna turn it on and it's gonna walk you through it. Okay. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. How do I know where to put the pads? Next to so you can light. look right on these pads here. There's going to be pictures as well of where to put those. Apply pads, plug in connector. So we're applying our pads. We're plugging in our connector so we can analyze Apply the heart pads, rhythm. Analyzing heart rhythm. <laughs> Do not touch the patient. So we want to stay away from the patient so that we can analyze for shock. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Everybody stay clear. Deliver shock now. Press and the orange button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. And I can do CPR even with this on the body. Absolutely. So the AED is going to tell you to continue CPR, and then they are also going to tell you when to stop again in case another shock is administered. So when the shock is not charging, you're able to touch these wires and resume your CPR as normal. Oh, that's great. So if I wanted to know more about this or learn how to do CPR or learn more about the AED, do you guys offer any classes? Absolutely. So we offer classes at the Wallingford Health Department, and we offer them on the last Monday of every month, and we have them at the MRC building. So that building is located at 143 Hope Hill Road, and anyone can sign up for these classes by calling the Wallingford Health Department. It's 203-294-2065. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Of course. I'm glad I could teach you a thing or two today. All right. Thanks a lot.